Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are making steamed fish. So I've got some fresh sea bass here which we are just going to marinate up. So I'm going to start with some spring onions, I'm going to lay a bed on the baking sheet and then I'm using ginger paste in the inside only because it's locked down and I couldn't get hold of fresh ginger so please by all means use the fresh ginger on there. And then I'm just going to rub the skin off the fish with some black pepper and then we're going to move on to our sauce. So starting out with some ginger paste, please use fresh ginger and then we are going to put some fish sauce in there. Then here I'm just using some dark sweet soya sauce and then I'm using some mushroom sauce. Now the mushroom sauce is totally optional, if you don't have it just leave it out and add some soya sauce. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of sesame oil in there and a little bit of water and we're just going to give that a good mix. So now that our fish sauce is ready, I'm just going to wrap the fish. I don't recommend this method of wrapping because for me the baking um, sheets were just too thick so it wasn't holding properly. So in my next clip you will see that I've done it with the foil and it was a much better technique. So you wanted to leave an opening so you can add the sauce in now. And then once you've added a bit of the sauce in the fish, all you need to do is seal it up completely and then it's ready to bake. So here you would add some ginger strips at the bottom, but I'm just using ginger paste again as I can't get hold of it. And then you're just going to rub some white pepper across the fish again. And then you're just going to seal up the fish and pop your sauce in the middle and totally close it. And then this I baked in the oven at 180 till the fish was cooked. So this is how the fish looked once it was cooked. So here you're just going to add the remaining sauce that was left, so you, I didn't say at the starting but you should only use half of the mixture between the two fishes and leave some for the end. So as you can see I'm just going to pop some spring onions on here and normally again I would put fresh stem ginger on here as well. And then I'm just putting a few little mild red chilies and some coriander. So as it's a Chinese New Year dish, I'm just going to add some curly spring onions. Now to get this, all you need to do is cut them thin and pop them into ice cold water and they will just curl up. So that is for garnish. In the meantime, I'm heating up some hot oil which we are going to pour over just to sizzle all of this. So guys, that is my Chinese New Year fish dish ready. So if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel as I upload videos twice a week. If you don't want to miss out on the videos, please press the bell notification 
so you won't miss any content from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!